With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello everyone. So here we have a question. Consider the line L x minus 1 over 2 equals to y over 1 is equals to z plus 1 over minus 2 and a point A 1 comma 1 comma 1. Let P be the point put off perpendicular from A on L and Q be the image of the point A in the line L. O being be the origin then we have to find the distance of the origin from the plane passing through the point A and containing the line L. We have four options we have to check which option is correct. So basically in short we have to find the distance between plane and origin. Okay, so this is the line and this is the point on the plane. I'm writing the given equation of line here. So it is the uh, L is x minus 1 over 2 equals to y over 1. And instead of writing y, I'm writing y minus 0 over 1. It is equals to z plus 1 over minus 2. Okay, so this is the equation of line. And I'm writing the point A, which is 1 comma 1 comma 1. Okay, now I'm going to uh, write the direction uh, ratios of the line L. Okay, so direction ratios of L. Okay, the direction ratios are nothing but this denominator you can see here. So it will be 2 comma 1 comma minus 2. Okay, so these are the direction ratios. Now I'm writing the uh, points where the plane is passing. Let me draw a quick line here. So this is the line on the plane. Okay, and here we have the point. Let's suppose this is my point B on the plane, and these coordinates are nothing but 1 comma. 0 comma minus 1 how you can see here these are the points okay these are the points okay 1 comma 0 comma minus 1 these are the points and this is the line l this is the line l which having the direction cosine direction ratios sorry direction ratios as 2 comma 1 comma minus 2 okay and here we have a line like that a point here and a point here this is the point a 1 comma 1 comma 1 and a point here which is perpendicular to this line okay so i'm drawing here as per the question said yeah okay so this is the line which is perpendicular to the uh, given line l okay and this is the point a if i join a and b you can see here clearly if i join a and b you will get this line okay now i'm going to write the direction ratios of the line a b okay so i'm writing here direction ratios of a b okay so it will be equals to nothing but 1 minus 1 it is 0 comma 1 minus 0 it is 1 and 1 minus minus of 1 it will be 2 okay so this is the direction ratios of line a b now i'm going to write here the direction ratios of plane okay so i'm writing here direction ratios of plane and it is nothing but it is the basically cross product of I'm writing here so that you will remember this thing. So it is cross product of L and A B line. Okay. So it is the basically cross product of L and A B line. It is the direction ratios of plane. Okay. So I'm taking the cross product here. So it will be A B cross L and it will be given by I J K and here the direction ratios of a b and l so it is direction ratios of a b i'm writing and it is the direction ratios of uh, l i'm writing okay and uh, i'm going to take the determinant of this thing hope you already know how to take the determinant of any simple matrix okay so this is, this is the determinant i'm expanding along the first row so it will be i 2 sorry minus 2 minus 2 and minus of j 0 minus 4 plus k 0 minus 2 okay hope you understood this thing already okay now i'm going to solve this thing a little so it will be minus of 4 i cap minus of 4 i cap and plus of 4 j cap and minus of 2 k cap okay so these are the direction ratios which are the direction ratios basically the direction ratios of plane is equals to minus 4 comma 4 comma minus 2 and on further simplifying it 
or from here you can say from here simplifying i can take two common and it will be minus of 2i cap plus of 2j cap minus of 1k cap so you can also write the direction uh, ratio of the plane is nothing but minus 2 2 comma minus 1 you can write this thing okay by simplifying you can write this thing okay so i'm taking the direction ratios this okay now moving further these are the direction ratios we know the simple general equation of the plane so i'm writing here uh, my equation of plane is given by a into x minus x1 where a is the direction ratio and plus b y minus y1 plus c z minus z1 basically a b c are the direction ratios and x1 y1 and z1 are the points okay so it will be equals to zero this is the general equation of plane i'm putting all the points here so i'm i'm putting the direction ratios here so direction ratio of plane are these so i'm putting here it will be minus 2 x minus x1 so x1 y1 z1 are the points on the plane so we have given the points a which is 1 comma 1 comma 1 okay so i'm putting the points here so 1 plus b my b is nothing but 2 y minus 1 minus of 1 z minus 1 it is equals to 0 okay moving further i'm going to simplify this thing so it will be clearly minus of 2x plus of 2y minus of z plus of 1 is equals to 0 okay on simplifying this you will get this thing simply okay now i'm taking all the all the things uh, to the right hand side so it will be 2x minus 2y plus z minus 1 is equals to 0 okay this is the equation of plane okay we got the equation of plane okay now we know one more thing if we have the equation of plane in form of i'm writing a equation of plane like that ax plus by plus cz plus d equals to zero then the distance of plane from origin is given by mod of d which is this d over under the root a square plus b square plus c square now i'm going to use this formula to find the distance from the plane and the origin okay and i'm assuming that the distance of plane from origin is nothing but d and it is equals to mod of d means minus 1 mod i'm comparing this thing by this equation okay now over under the root a square means 2 square b square means minus 2 square plus c square means only 1 square okay and on solving this thing you will get because you have minus 1 mod it means 1 only because mod will give you the positive value only over under the root 9 4 plus 4 is 8 plus 1 is 9 okay and uh, it is my d and I can write my d as plus minus 1 over 3. Okay. But we cannot take the negative sign because it is distance. That's why this is this should be our answer plus 1 by 3. So distance between origin and the plane is 1 by 3 units. Okay. So this must be the answer of this question. Let's check the options. So yeah, our option 1, 1 by 3 is correct. Thank you. For class 6 to 12, ITG and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.